All right, so right now I'm kind of just in between doing a couple different projects. Uh, I kind of, I might need to add a bit more hot glue to the killer, killer croc every time, Leatherhead. And then after that, I'm gonna repaint him up. Same with the mojo here. I kind of make him, I want to make him a bit more like dirty looking and like add some silver dry brushing to like the actual metal details there. Up on this shelf here, I recently repainted these two. I still need to finish this one up a bit. Uh, with the red hood here, I'd also like to add a bit more paint, but um, one of the hands snapped. So I'm gonna try and figure out how to make alternate hands with him. Uh, on this side here, I'm still gonna be working on this stop motion for a bit, but that's gonna lead us to like the main part of this video I wanted to bring up. I have a lot of ideas for just different Ninja Turtle stop motions for like each different genre. I'm just a huge Turtles fan in general, so I like to put a lot of like effort and detail into like just the universe that I enjoy. Um, starting with that, actually, you Retro Ghost has been doing a bunch of reactions to my videos, which is pretty dope, and he's very passionate about my content, which like it's very nice to hear. I'm glad people enjoy my videos, and I do have a lot of ideas for like 2007 kind of deal. And with this video, I kind of just want to make different head sculpts for. I'm just going to start with Michelangelo for the 2007 and the 2012 figure here. Very shitty lighting. Yeah, so for these two, I'm going to start with just making a couple different head sculpts, like having a calm and an angry head for the 2007 Michelangelo, and then a happy face and a bit more, maybe a smirking face for the 2012 Michelangelo. And I'm gonna make the head sculpts a bit more cartoon accurate for the 2012 one and like adding freckles and stuff. I might even do the pupil deal. I might do the pupils for the, some of the 2012 ones and then give the whited out eyes. So like it gives that effect like in the cartoon. So that's uh, what I'm gonna jump into right now. Yeah, so I have different clay. Some is just air dry and some is oven bake. So I'm going to be just making some already on the, whatever this sucker is. Which one is this one? Parchment paper. Yeah, I'm just going to, I'll work on top of this so then I could just bring the whole sheet up and throw it in the oven. All right, so off screen here, I just made the two first head sculpts here because with these 2007 figures, their heads are on a ball joint. So they're kind of easy to just come off like the ball there. And I wanted to make two separate like expressions here. So the first one, it's kind of hard to pick up on camera right now, but it's going to be like an angry head. Once it's all painted, it's going to be a whole lot easier to see where I'm going with it. But like I tried to make it like the snout and stuff like as accurate as possible. Obviously it's not perfect, but uh, I think it's close enough to like what I'm looking for. I tried to mimic some of the other head sculpts in the toy line. Um, and then this one here is a bit just more of like a neutral face. And then like a bit more of like a smirk on this side. Just add a bit more character. I might retouch them up just a little bit before I put them in the oven. But I'm leaving enough room so I'll probably have a little bit of hot glue just in the actual head. So there's a bit of friction in there to kind of make it work or just blue tack or something. But that's kind of where I'm at. And then next up here, it's gonna be the 2012 version of Michelangelo. And uh, just redoing like some of the head sculpts here, I think I might actually, for like those little skits I wanna do before I jump into like a bigger stop motion film, I think I might just show some love to Michelangelo because I don't really use him in stop motions. I've had people like leave comments even being like, why don't you make Donnie and Mikey as cool as the other two? And it's like, that's not my intention. Cause like, there's definitely a lot of cool stuff uh, I can do with them. So I think I might do a little bit of skits 
with just Michelangelo for the time being right now before I jump into maybe it's either going to be the Mirage Turtles and then Spider-Man vs. Venom Part 5. One of those two will be like the bigger one I'm going to jump into first. And I think I might even add an 80s Michelangelo figure as well as the Mystic Fury Michelangelo. A uh, little team and tea skit kind of deal. I might do some of those. Like, and I'm talking like short, maybe like a minute, two minute for some of these videos. So I can put a lot of like time in the movement. So it's not going to be as long. And the, the, the longer videos, those take time. So I kind of want to pump out some videos before I take like another like absence absence yep i think that yeah absent because i never showed up to class Bruh. look at me now mom Bruh. <laughs> okay that's stupid yeah so i'm gonna do the 2012 stuff and then these gonna go in the oven so this michelangelo was just in a different room so i i brought him in here and i threw him up on the shelf here and i think he looks badass in this display I think I will use this background for this figure, like that little stop motion skit I'm gonna do. Uh, I was telling you about, you know, what a shitty joke. So I kind of what the, two, the foot soldiers. I uh, kind of fucking lame actually. I might go ahead and do this one for the Mystic series because I've done this guy and the Elite Foot Soldier. I feel like. This is kind of next to mine for like mystic kind of deal. Um, and then I Leo might go up against uh, maybe Draco, but I feel like that one's the vibe. Oh, sick. Well, while I'm at it, I'll just make them shoulder pads. I do actually want to make this one as well. I'll take that nunchuck and give it to this dude because I only have one of his nunchucks. I need to pick a villain for this bad boy. Honestly, I wouldn't mind doing Bebop. I think that'd be kind of cool. It'd be cool if I don't knock anyone over. 2012. Baxter might be kind of cool. Or Snakeweed. Snakeweed might be dope. I'm really just kind of bringing, this is how my fucking brain works, by a part of my language. I just kind of, I don't know, look into my collection, see who would be an interesting fit, or like just a cool spark of an idea. Even, honestly, I deadass gonna go. And I'll tell you why. I just thought it would be interesting having the start of the video pan over to like an alleyway here, and then a beam shoots down and I could animate him coming down from space while well, Michelangelo is like, I don't know, eating pizza or skateboarding in the alley. And then they could start a little scrap there until he needs to go up back in space because he's getting his ass beat. Oh, oh my goodness, didn't even take a breath. Now, for the 2007 stuff, I don't have many villains. At some point, I th wouldn't mind picking up those stone generals and like. I think Bigfoot for the 2007 and April. I know there's a bunch of other mutants and other variants, but I think I only really care for the main kind of characters. Because with every Turtles line, there's just a sea of duplicate like turtles and different costumes and allies and villains and blah blah blah. So I I think I might just do another foot soldier one. Have Michelangelo go up against a couple foot soldiers because I'm gonna save Shredder for a bit more plot based ones. Yep. Oh, dude. No! Oh, hell yeah. Damn, Casey said fuck that shit. Okay, so I have several different head sculpts here. The majority of them are Michelangelo, but I have the couple Donatello ones in the front here. Uh, now that I've got them all sculpted, they're good to go in the oven, and then afterwards I'll paint them up. Alright, so this is what they look like outside of the oven. 
uh, just different facial expressions here. This one's gonna be for the 2012 Michelangelo. It kind of reminds me of specific IDW comic art, but it looks dope. That one looks pretty dope. I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna think I'm gonna start with this green because it kind of it resembles the plastic a bit more than these two. And I might I don't know add some white in there or yellow to try and like make it match a bit more but uh, you don't care about that you don't give a shit this one is like that screaming donatello head i didn't put the eyes in that one because i think painting it on would be easier because um, i'm still like fairly new at sculpting i think these look like surpassable so like in oh we're getting somewhere all right, so for the most part here, uh, all the green is done. I just need to paint their bandanas now. Here's the 2007 Donatello head. Pupils in there, give them a more calm head. Uh, I'm really excited to put all the different like color bandanas on them. I feel like just that's gonna really bring like the head sculpts together. I also have just the same colored fabric here as well. I'm gonna be cutting those to shape. And then having the longer ones for 2007 and the shorter ones on like Mikey and stuff. As well as I picked these up just from the dollar store quickly. Bruh. Oh, wait, oh, bruh. Homie didn't want out. Homie needed out. This wasn't really like the color I thought. I thought it was gonna be a bit more translucent looking. But this was the texture I was originally thinking of. And then there's just some cool ideas you can do with it. Like having the TCRI kind of like break open there. And because it's like somewhat pliable to like move it around, uh, it'll work well with like stop motion stuff. It also works as like slobber for Venom. So that's dope. Or like, I don't know, uh, sewage, whatever it may be. Just cool ideas. Bruh, I should have seen if they had a red one. Cause I like using real things and like actual props in my videos. So using the red putty as blood could be a cool effect. All right, so there's one of the head sculpts on there right now. Kind of more like action ready face. They all don't look perfect by any means, but they're definitely getting there. There is still a lot of like repainting I need to do for a lot of them, but I think they're coming around pretty decent. All right, so what I've kind of been doing here for the bandana stuff is I've sculpted these just on to like the back of the head. That's false. I didn't do that. I sculpted these individually and placed them on the head, but like I didn't put a lot of pressure on the, like, the actual head. So when I put it in the oven, I was able to kind of just like snap it back off because it wasn't firmly put on the back of the head. Just because I'm putting, I'm super gluing the bandana just in there. And then after I'm gluing that back in position. So it's kind of like like, I don't know, I have them ready from the heads already kind of deal, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I think for the most part here, all the different head sculpts are finally finished and repainted. Uh, starting off here, it's going to be the 2012 Michelangelo. This is kind of like his more neutral head. I like, like I said in earlier in the video, I wanted him to have the pupils because I like the idea of when they jump into battle, their eyes turn all white. So... I have a couple different head sculpts here for like def different action heads. Here's a different one of those like action heads on there. Uh, again, not they're not all perfect. I just kind of wanted different variety for the figures here with the, at least with the ones where I could take the heads off so I could kind of do something cool with it. Um, yuppers. And what I did for the heads is, I don't recall if I said it, but like when I first sculpted them, I kind of had them all on the ball joint and kind of moved them around a bit. So there'd kind of be some like 
leeway to take the heads on and off and but with this one specifically taking the head on and off it's kind of cracking already so you can see the stress marks there i'm gonna have to try and figure out how to work something out to keep that from actually coming off but they do actually stay on the ball joint and they kind of even pop on there as well like an authentic head sculpt kind of would you can kind of half it on the ball joint there to give it a different look and have like the friction behind it there I think that looks kind of dope and again I might even after this video is done go back in and touch up some of like the paint I don't know. For what they are, I don't think they look too bad. And I might make more head sculpts in the future. I definitely need to jump to making Raphael and Leonardo ones as well. But so far, I think they look pretty dope. Now, here's an example. I still need to kind of do the outlaying a bit on the eyes there. But I enjoy this head sculpt a lot, actually. Uh, yeah, I think that's all of the Michelangelo ones for the 2012 series. They're all this. God damn. I'll pop the regular head back on there for now, but yeah, that looks kind of dope, I think. And then let's just switch over here to the 2007 version of Michelangelo. So with this head sculpt, I wanted to do like the classic teeth on both sides kind of deal. Uh, I based this head sculpt off an already existing figure in the 2007 toy line. Uh, again, they're not perfect by any means, but I think they're a good enough placeholder just for stop motion videos. And on this one here, I have a bit more of a... Oh, a bit more of a basic head sculpt on like he kind of got like a smirk on that side a little bit of a smile on that side as well just because um, this was the original head he came with and having that huge grin on there kind of limits some things so having a bit more of an angrier head sculpt would work in like action scenes and stuff but I think that's actually going to be all for this video. I think they turned out pretty alright. <laughs> uh, I do prefer some head sculpts over the other ones, how they turned out. And like I said, I'm probably still going to touch them up a little bit after the video here. But I just now have a bit more variety when I jump into doing some of those stop motions that I am planning on doing. A bunch of Michelangelo shit. So, uh, thank you for watching. And I don't know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I won't respond to them.